what we should have done is we should have, instead of using the internet to suppress debate, to censor people, to punish doctors who are speaking out and saying, we should be using early treatments. I'm giving it to my patients and they're recovering miraculously. Those people, these, these doctors of conscience, were silenced. We should do the opposite. We should have a, we should have built a grid, and this is what I'll do, that reaches all 15 million frontline physicians in the world and where they report what they're doing and what's working and what's not working and all that information then gets synthesized through AI. So we can quickly spit out to all the other practicing physicians, this is what they're doing in Bangladesh and they've eliminated it, or this is what they're doing in China or Guatemala or Central America. And, but we didn't do any of that. Instead, we, we used the pandemic as a pretext for clamping down these you know, controls on, uh, you know, on our freedoms and, um, and to promote med medication that didn't work. I mean, one of the things that people should know, the government, the, the people who were promoting the vaccine had to get rid of all the competitive products. And why is that? Because there's a federal law, the Code of Federal Regulations, that says if you, that you cannot give an emergency use authorization to any vaccine if there is an existing medicine that has shown to be effective against the target disease. So that's why they had to tell us that ivermectin was a horse medication that didn't work. It's not a horse medication. It is given to horses because it works for all mammals. But it won the no, it's one of the only products in the world that has won the Nobel Prize because it was effective for humans. It's been given in billions and billions of doses and it's eliminated uh, river blindness and other parasites around the world. We should have focused on things that worked rather than focusing on advancing the mercantile interests of the pharmaceutical industry.